Hello and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be doing the uh, chicken. So um, this is what we should get for the final product. You know, heads, head can move. Oh, probably should check that it was linked. But yeah, yeah, but you get the idea. It all should work. All the wings flap around. The only bit where we're going to need some sort of constraints is probably going to be the feet, so that they're always on the ground. So, uh, yeah. So let's just uh, get started. So I'll just move this over. And we'll start with the body, because that's probably the best place to start. So I'm um, just create a box. And then for length, put in 30. Uh, for the uh, width, change it to 35, and for the height, 20. <clears throat> and just, just move it up a bit. So, um, best thing to do is just get it all done and then put all the maps on because it's always the best way to do it. So, let's just create the uh, wings now. Or wing. We'll leave the other wing till the very end. It's best not to copy things. Until you've done the UVW mapping, if it's pretty much a duplicate. So uh, after you create a new box, I've just copied mine over behind down shift and moving it over. Um, so the wing is length two, width twenty five, and height twenty, and just uh. You can have snap toggle on, just up here beside, uh, underneath customize, um, which allow you to go in a, every five degrees. You just put it ninety degrees. It's up to you, and just just position it. You may want to go to front view or left view by pressing F or L. So I'll show you this kind of view. You're probably going to want to change the pivot, but we'll we'll get to that afterwards. Make sure that's. About correct. Oops. See, we'll, we'll change that. See how I did it on my. We put it on the very edge. So um, after that, we'll make the head. So for the head, create another box. So I'm just going to copy this one over again. And change the change them all to twenty. So length twenty, width twenty, height twenty, and just position that. Doesn't really matter about the pivot at the moment. We can change that later. You may want to go into front view or left view. Uh, you may not want to go completely onto the corner. You may want to put it in a slightly bit so it doesn't look a bit strange. The joint. You move the head around. So I'm just going to put mine about there. So after you've done that, um, we'll just make the beak. So again, another box. There's a lot of boxes for this one. Make another box and change it to. 20, 10, and 8, so length 20, width 10, and height 8. And just position that. But uh, if you want to get it completely correct, just create another box and we'll make the thing right underneath it, whatever it is, a mouth or whatever, and change the length 10, width 10, and height to 5. And then position that. Should make it a bit easier for you to position your one. You really want it really perfect. You probably want to zoom in a lot. But you're very unlikely to see that. So yeah, after you've done that, you've got the the head pretty much done. Now we just need to make the leg. We're only gonna make one of the legs, we'll copy it over afterwards. So um just create another box. I'm gonna create another box now. Um and change the length to three point five, width to three point five, and height to twenty. And uh, I'm gonna rotate it because the pivot's on the and even though I'm going to change that probably. 
So just position that. Just, you know, eye it. See how? Where you think it should be. Just slightly in. You may want to position it again afterwards after you get the feet on because you may want to compensate. But for now, I'm I'm not going to move over to the uh, to the uh, chicken yet. Or is it duck? Chicken. Yeah, chicken. Um, so next, we make the foot. So the foot is make another box again and change the length to 15 width to 3.5 and the height to 10 and just rotate it so it's like it should be now I'm just gonna move this over to uh, just so I can get the idea of where the foot is. Let's just zoom in. Gonna just select everything. Get like on the same plane as the one up on the back. But pretty much it should be about flat on the ground nearly. And then again, we make another one, so we've got to make the toe, so just make another box, and the toe is 8, so length 8, width 3.5, and height 7. And just position that. As well as you can. It's P to go back into perspective if you've gone into, into left or front view. So there you go, you've got all the objects that you're going to be needing for the for the chicken except for the wings which we'll do in a minute but first I think we should uh, select some of these objects so the mouth um, just just go use the link to the tool which is right underneath the green thing green menu icon in the top corner I just start linking things so I'm going to link the mouth to the beak, the beak to the head. Whoops. What? Why? Just that. And then link that. And then we link the head to the body. We link the wing to the body. We link the uh, leg to the body. We link the toe to the foot. We link the foot to the leg. And pretty much that should mean everything's now movable from the body. Which it is. So um <coughs> let's do the pivots first. So uh go into front or left view if you want. That's what I'm gonna do. Um we'll start with the head. So select the head and go to hierarchy, which is the third icon over. It's got like a three boxes and a big box uh icon. And select effect pivot only. And now you can move the pivot anywhere you want. So I'm just going to move mine to about there. It, you've got to mostly eye it and see where you think it's best. So, you know, it's more what you think it should be. So just test that out. If you think the head's too close to the body or anything, move it. Um, I think that one's okay for mine. <laughs> but it's, it's more of opinion. And then we've got to do the wing. So uh, go into the left or front view. It depends how yours is set out and again effective only make sure you toggle it because it is a toggle so after you finish with the head you can either select the other object straight away or untoggle it then select it and then retoggle it remember to turn it off after you finish completely so I'm gonna quickly smooth this up slightly even though it's unnoticeable to the human eye <coughs> and then effective only and I'm just gonna move it right to the top out there. Or maybe I should have done it the other way around. Yeah, I should have done it. Oops. So, yeah, I screwed up there. So, I need to move this up to the very top. So that these two corners hit nearly. And then just move it down. There you go. You could make it even perfect if you wanted to make sure it's 
perfectly on the line, but it, it, it doesn't really matter. So then the legs, I don't believe you need to change that. So, I think we'll leave that. Um, if you're probably going to want to move the foot separately, so again, effect pivot only, and just move that slightly forward. So now you could just foot up and down. Maybe want to move it up a bit as well. Do you? So yeah, that seems about it. So now we just need to texture it. But first, I'll quickly show you the how we did the legs because this means that if you were to move this down or rotate it, I mean, it wouldn't affect the legs as much. So, uh, go into the geometry, the shapes, which is the second one, and just create, create a rectangle. Top view, which is T, just create a box. You may want to move it slightly down, but it's up to you. And, uh, Using the align tool, which is up at the top, uh, align it to the the leg and turn off C position because you don't want it to go up. So now it's perfectly aligned. And then selecting the the leg, go to the animation, which is at the top. Go to constraints and choose look at constraint and choose that. You see, it will go all weird. Um, you can try keep initial state and test that. You may get some issues like that. So I'm going to turn that off and just uh, change the select look at axis. See if that works, which it should. So yeah, if keep initial offset doesn't work, which is here under look at constraint under the motion tab, which it'll automatically open if you've done that. But if you haven't, you can just go to the motion tab and it'll be under rotation if it's not already selected, which it should. And if that doesn't work, under select look at axis, change just to see which one works. If if one of them works but it's like upside down, like if it's looking like that instead, uh all you need to do is untick or tick flip anyway. So that should it do it. So now that's about right. You may want to move the, the leg up slightly so you don't get that thing there, but uh, it's it's up to you. So we've pretty much done the leg. Now we're just gonna texture everything, which I'm not necessarily gonna show you everything because it's the same as every other one. But I'll show you how to do the the, uh, the body, and the head, and then I. I think that should be it. I'll, sh I'll just I'll do the the head, the body, and the wing because I'll copy the wing. So let's just start with the body as usual. It's up to you if you want to change convert to edit poly. I'll just leave it like this. So modify list and unwrap UVW and select polygon un untoggle ignore back facing. So that's off. Make sure that's off. Because if you have that on, you can't select faces that aren't directly in front of you. You ignore the ones behind it. So just let turn that off if you want. Don't have to if you do it completely in the editor. But just select everything. Open UV editor. And I forgot again. Press M first and find the the chicken skin, which I'll leave a link in the description to download. Also the template. And I'll select the all the objects if you want, so select them all and just assign material to selection. Make sure you're not actually in that. Just select everything and just add them. Of course, it will look weird at the moment, but just, just ignore that. Make sure two sided materials on, even though 
to this one you shouldn't need to, but you should just get used to using that because so many people seem to not know it's there. So have that on. And then go back to the UV editor, for the body, select everything, all the faces, and under mapping, flatten mapping, press OK. And you've got the face, its own little area. Uh, you're probably going to have to pick texture, you can re add the unwrap UVW, it's up to you. So if you have to. Find texture, find texture. Mine's not working, there we go. And then just find the texture. There's the texture. You may want the te template, so just go to pick texture. Go to bitmap and find the template. Wherever that is. You got these two. They should be about the same. Just remember that only use the template as a guide, don't use it completely because sometimes they're off slightly. So just look at them to see where the body is and the body is right here. So you know use the just click the front part here, you put it on the front. Uh in the very corner to make it much easier, uh hold down and go on to the second one, just like grid kind of look and make sure that's on because it'll make it much easier. So just have that on and just start UV mapping. You may want to go to freeform mode. Much easier for you. So yeah, just do all that. Just use the reference bottom. Top. You may need to re rotate them. Yeah, you're probably gonna need to rotate them. It's so just rotate them like that. And that's pretty much it. Just adding them. So yeah, just do that. Um, I won't show you the rest on that one because that one's quite obvious. So just reference it again for the head <laughs> modifier list UV unwrap UV polygons open UV editor. You could select all the faces from inside if you want instead of the from the viewport mapping, flat mapping, press OK and just add all those. Turn make sure grid is turned on a freeform mode. And for the ones where they're just a color, just, just put all of them on the same face. If you've got that. So that should also make sure in your render setup the oh that if you're using default scan line, 
that filter maps is unticked, so just untick that. Then you won't have any of those blurry lines. You'll still have them in the viewport, but you won't have them in the render. So after you've done that, pretty much just same as usual mapping. Using the template as reference. You need it. You may have to rotate them like this one. See, I use pictures from online for ducks to make sure they're they're correct. Ones. So yeah, just pretty much it. Of course, then you do the wing. I'll show you how because it's, it's quite basic, but I'll, I'll quickly show you. I would do the UV mapping for every single one, but it, I think it's kind of obvious how to do it. So, again, select all the faces, mapping, flat mapping, get all these, you could add the. the um, Got now the uh, template. If you need to make sure they're the right way, if you can remember. See, so, yeah, it's pretty obvious. Sure, you got grid lines on. So yeah, that's pretty much it. But uh, when you want to copy it over, um, you can either just copy it by rotating it, or you can try the uh, the the mirror tool, which is right beside the align tool. Just click that and get copy. Believe. That's the correct one. So yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do for that. So you just move that over. We pretty much finished. Okay, and also of course the the feet. So just copy that. Just select everything. I believe the look the blackout will also work if you copy it over. So just hold down shift and move it over like that. And just line them up. Perfect. So yeah, make sure they work. Yep. Now you could group some of this stuff. You could group it all if you want to make it much easier to find. So just select everything and go to group, group, and just call it chicken if you want. So then you could just move this around and you can import it without having to select everything, which might be difficult. And of course you need to go to group. You could ungroup it after you've imported it to make it much easier, or you could click open and you can move everything around inside of it. And if you really needed to pick the whole thing up again, you could just select this little purple or pink um, line around it and just there you go. You go. That's pretty much it. Um, so yep, yeah, there'll be a download in the description for the skin and the template, and uh, that's pretty much it. You can move the toes around if you really want to as well, and that's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching. If you need any help just leave a comment I'll try and help you if you like the video like it
share it. Uh, if you didn't like the video, dislike it. So uh, thanks for for watching. So goodbye.